conference, but three in a row now. What does it mean to string together uh, three in a row like that? I think it's really hard to do, uh, Eric, and uh, this league is a tough league. We found that out when we first got into it. We kind of got to take in the woodshed and had to uh, learn how to adjust conference play. I think our guys uh, recognized, and they knew coming in we were going to have to beat a good football team, and they had some adversity. Where their starting quarterback was not 100%, and then we hurt the second guy. But uh, it was a great win for us. Brock Jensen, uh, for a guy who's not a I don't know what his records are. I know he delivers, uh, Jeff, and he's uh, done a great job uh, working our offense and a lot of those plays. Uh, you know, he's in and out of the right place, and his reads were excellent as well. Really pleased with his performance. Coach, this is a preseason goal to accomplish this on the road in a place like this. Your thoughts about that? Well, that was the number one goal we had at the beginning of the year, Dom. And, and our players recognize how tough this league is. And uh, so for us to be able to accomplish it and, and accomplish it on the road um, and win it outright, it's a, a really a nice thing. Don Marcus Williams, Don Grant Olson, how do you think the defense played overall? I thought overall fairly well. You know, it's hard to gauge, you know, their offense. They had to adjust their offense, I think, a little bit just because of the style of play with the quarterback. But nonetheless, it was good to see the backers out there. And Jordan Champion uh, the challenge. Hopefully, we'll have uh, Marcus back next week. What, what does it say about your team, though, to lose some guys like that to be able to come out here and play? Well, I think well. it says a lot, uh, Mike. You know, they, they have great belief in one another, and uh, you know they, they work real hard during fall camp. We do extra work. We call it double repping, and a lot of that is, is sometimes you think it's all for naught, but what it does do it prepares these younger guys for a situation like this. And so uh, you know, it's, uh, we've got a lot of deep, we got a lot of depth. Is there a chance next week? I'm not going to say you're not going to overlook South Dakota, but to take some time, to give, give some guys time to get better. No, I, I think we got to do whatever we can to win the next game. Yeah. Tight ends, I fair got question. Though. Tight ends, Bonnet, Bottle, really did a great job. You know, um, today uh, I Andrew Groth and got a hit for him, so he, he wasn't quite a full speed. But I thought uh, Andrew Bonnet had some nice plays and Bottle did some great things as well. Any other injuries today? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of. We'll find out when I get in the locker room. It's a physical game, but uh, no one, you know, Brian Shepard was down for a while, Don, but he was able to, he got cleared, he was able to go back to him, so. Great, great win for us. You made our three turnovers, too. Yeah, well, I was frustrated about that. You know, we certainly could play cleaner than what we did. Typically, you're not going to beat a, a, a good team with those kind of turnovers. Coach, I guess just one last thing. I know you dressed this a little bit, but to, to run the Valley the way you did it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Northern Iowa was close, but everything else was a double-digit win. Just talk about that. Well, I think uh, it's an indication how deep our football team is. And the other thing that's been amazing about them, they, they are really focused. I mean, they go out and they practice hard, and they, they, uh, they buy into the game plan, and they execute well. And we've got a lot of experience out there. So we've got one more game left in conference play. It's amazing. Uh, we got a great group of kids here that kind of worked hard, and we feel like we worked, we all worked everyone in the conference to get these championships. You know, we put a lot of hard work into them, and that's kind of why we're, we're champions right now. Having Grant and Marcus out this game, did you guys do anything different defensively, or did you feel like other guys had to do some different stuff having those two guys? Uh, we didn't feel like we had to do a lot of things differently. Uh, we knew LJ and Esther were going to step up big for us, and, and our motto is next guy up. Uh, Champ played well. Uh, you know, all the corners play well. And we just we don't worry about who's playing. We just worry about you know the getting play done. Is it nice to be able to wrap this up? And I have to worry about next week and all your conference champs. And that's pretty crazy. It's nice to uh, to win it out right right now. Uh, we still got some business to do next week. We don't want to lose this year. So uh, next week's a big game for us still. Hey Cole, as a defensive player, what's your assessment of your teammate Brock Jensen? You've been seeing him out there in settings like this. Uh, it's fun to see him playing like that. It's fun to see him throwing the ball well. We, we like when he's running that clock, running the ball well, and and driving for us. If he, the longer he drives, the more we get to sit on the bench and drink Gatorade, and that's the best way to play defense. Talk about having to respond, though. You had some sudden turnovers. I mean, just talk about having to hold up in some of those situations. Yeah, today. it was a little bit sloppy today. Uh, we didn't make uh, a lot of great plays today. We had some sudden changes, what we call it, and we let up a touchdown on one, but we, we, we held our ground for the most part on all of them, and that's just big big momentum killer if they get a big play like that, and we can hold them to three or hold them to zero points. Thanks, Cole. Another conference crown, and you win another game on the road. Is it just getting old hat now? Yeah, yeah. You like to you like to think about it that way, but I mean, this team it's it's amazing what we've been able to do. Um, three straight conference titles. 
I don't think people realize how hard it is to play in this conference. Uh, week in and week out, you got to prepare. You know, it doesn't matter if it's the best team in the league, worst team in the league. If you don't come out and play, well, you're not going to win. And, uh, you know, I'm just so proud of this team, so proud to be a part of it. How big was that early, the second half uh, fumble recovery for you guys that you got it and then you score right after that? Uh, it was huge. It was a big emphasis for us this week and pretty much the whole season. We haven't been getting the turnovers that we've wanted to get. Uh, you know, that was a huge swing of momentum. We finally got the turnover and then, uh, you know, our offense did a great job putting it in the end zone. What was it like seeing three different quarterbacks? I mean, they come up past, then they bring more of a runner, then they probably bring a guy you haven't seen at all. I mean, yep. was that, I guess, difficult at all? The yeah, it's, from guy to guy? it's a little different, um, especially their drops. You know, I think Hess was getting a little less depth. Uh, the three was getting a little more. So, you know, it's, it's just kind of, you got to adjust to it. But at the end of the day, you just go out there and do your business um, and attack the quarterback. How pleased with you guys to play without Grant, without Marcus out there, and you hold this team to 17 points today? Yeah, I mean, I'm so proud of those guys that stepped up. You know, we missed uh, Grant and Marcus. Um, they were out there on the sidelines, though, helping us out for sure. And you know, that's, just, that's the thing about this team. When someone goes down, you know, it's just another it's just adversity. You just fight through it. See, next guy comes in, next guy steps up, and everyone's got confidence in them. Has this team talked openly about not losing this season, that going, we want to go undefeated? Um, I wouldn't say openly, but it's definitely in the back of our minds. You know, uh, I guess to state the obvious, you never want to lose a game, but especially the last two years when we lost two games we didn't think we should have lost. Um, you know, it's definitely in the back of our minds, something we want to accomplish. Another conference crowd. What goes through your mind uh, when you hear that? Man, uh, I just want to thank God just for, for giving me this opportunity to be a part of this team. Um, extremely special. You know, this one is extremely special. Uh, you know, everything was on the line tonight, and um, we just found a way to, to get it done as a team. Uh, it was a total team effort, and um, you know, to leave Youngstown uh, healthy feels really good, and to leave with a win and a conference championship feels excellent. Uh, passing and four touchdowns, you know, kind of another Rogers-esque day for you. <laughs> hey, I just, I'm just trying to do whatever's asked of me. You know what, if that's uh, to throw four touchdown passes, then that's, that's good. You know, if it's to, to hand the ball off and, and make run checks and, and get us into the right run every play, then I'm going to do that. Um, I just I just try to do what's asked of me, try to do it to the best of my ability. Um, I'm, I'm so fortunate and blessed to have great teammates and, and great coaches. Um, you know, it's a total team effort, and, and uh, you know, it feels really good to, to be back-to-back-to-back uh, -to -back -to -back conference champs. What did you see in the quarterback and the tight ends today that they were open? Um, you know what, we just we, we schemed them up a little bit, and uh, our coaches did a really good job during the week um, seeing some different things um, on film that, that could you know, we could use our tight ends. And um, we were able to do that. We haven't used them quite as much as we'd like to this year. And uh, to get them back into the mix feels really good. What's it like seeing Bonnet get it in the flat and like carry two or three guys and <laughs> run guys over? That's awesome. It's always a, always fun uh, throwing it to 46 out there. Uh, I don't know whether he's going to hurdle a guy, <laughs> run, run over the top of him and step on his chest. It's pretty fun watching him get the ball in open field. He's very athletic and he's a very tough kid. And talk about the defense today, down two key starters and they still hold that team under 20 points and, you know, for the most part do a decent job. Yeah, absolutely. You know what, it was an uh, extraordinary job by our defense. They're the backbone of our team. Um, always have been, and uh, to see those guys rally around each other and uh, still believe in one another, even though uh, two of our, our best defensive players were out, I mean, that, that goes to show you what kind of program we have, what kind of coaches, coaches we have, too. Rock, you guys talk openly about being unbeaten. Is that something that, you know, we want to do it, we want to run the table? Absolutely. You know what? Um, we all believe that, that we could take it game by game and, and win every game. Um, there is no question about that, that we believed in our hearts and uh, that Coach Bull said at the beginning of the year that we could go undefeated. You know what, that's something that, that um, we've believed since, since day one, and uh, we're gonna keep believing that, and we're gonna keep working hard. We have a lot to accomplish yet, but it feels good to, to get that uh, conference title locked up. Tight ends, tell me, uh, tell me about the day, and was it something of focus that you guys were gonna be a, a target in the passing game today? Uh, yeah, we had, we had some schemes drawn up. Uh, uh, just taking advantage of tight end, opening the flat, and. I mean, Bonnet got a touchdown. Uh, we knew they were going to go play play the run hard, so we could get open in the secondary or, or on the, out in the flat. So um, I don't know what your ratio. I haven't looked at, but the touchdowns to catches is pretty high. Yeah. Uh, what's that like? <laughs> um, it's pretty cool because yeah. it seems like almost every time I catch a ball, it's, it's going to be a touchdown. So I mean, you can't go wrong with that. Yeah. <laughs> It's kind of fitting to end the game like this against a team that's kind of was right in second place or right in your heels. It was kind of for the Valley Championship. It seems like to work like that every year. Just talk about that a little bit to wrap it up in this fashion. Yeah, I mean, we knew it was going to be tough. The first first half was pretty tough. Uh, 
we knew coming out in the second half, we were a good team in the second half and fourth quarter, so we weren't really worried, and then we just kind of put the pedal, pedal to, to the floor and ran ran the ball, passed the ball, did whatever we wanted. A few costly turnovers, but we uh, came over, over overcame that. So uh, you're, you're seniors, a uh, couple. You don't have many games left for Bonnet to teach you the hurdle. <laughs> um, I mean, I've been watching him. Yeah. Uh, I was thinking about it. I just got to not have enough space out in the open, like just so I can like think about it during the play. So, <laughs> <laughs> but I'll have to get a few pointers from him. T tell me about your quarterback. What he does for this team? Uh, great leadership. Um, he, he manages the offense unlike anyone else. Um, great friend. I mean, it's just awesome having him. Like he's played in so many games now. He's yeah. he's got so much experience and. It's just nice to have him as our quarterback. For a running quarterback and a guy who manages the game, he's really taken over the passing record. Book. Yeah. I got Sun Sung in him a little bit, oh. the way he can throw the ball. I mean, he can really throw the ball. He's really improved over the years. Yeah. Um, he's got a nice, really nice arm. Um, and the defense, they gotta, they got to respect the run and the pass, so it's nice having that. Kevin is a senior to win back-to-back-to-back -back -back conference crowns. What goes through your mind of that to especially do it again on the road here today? Uh, it was a long road, <laughs> long season. Um, it just that was our number one goal coming into the season: get the conference championship and then uh, get the outright bid. 